the workshops that are taught come from a popular education background. What that means is youth are allowed to bring their experience to the camp and most of their learning comes from their experience. So they're able to learn about huge issues like poverty, globalization, race relations, um, and they are allowed to talk about their experiences and how what they've experienced in their life relates to these issues. And we're going to link it to the global um, issue and know that it may link to more than one global piece. So it really helps uh, youth uh, become more empowered to, to find their own solutions to these big problems. Um, it also allows them to feel like they have a role in, um, in creating those solutions. One of the techniques we use for building community is called Theater of the Oppressed, developed yeah. by Augusto Boal from Brazil. We bring Theater of the Oppressed to art and action camps to help illuminate people's personal stories and help people speak the truth about our struggles. I come to Art in Action Camp with a lot of experience as a dancer and a choreographer in, in the theater world. And in my opinion, dance is the language of the body. And in our culture, lots of times, it feels like we're um, separate from our body, separate from what makes us human. Dance is a way of reminding us of our humanity. It's also a way of bringing us together. It communicates beyond words. All day, but you're the one who's tired. Give it a rest, okay? Now when you say... Poet. At the MC. In this workshop, we talked about different issues. Um, globally, locally, and we figured out ways to express them through, through the written arts, through spoken word, through rap, through poetry. There are a lot of youth there um, already, you know, know how to write and they, you know, know how to express themselves on paper and with word, but, you know, sometimes they don't know how to talk about issues that affect them every day. What does that mean to you? You know, what does that mean? How does that affect us? And we write down the words and we create words to pull from a palette to, you know, write about. It's great to see them come out with some wonderful works of art. Um, and then performing those works of art is just, you know, phenomenal. I get blown away every time. You know, we can have world peace if we really wanted it. But all we really want is our piece of the pie. To have share what I have wants? Why should I? We shouldn't be angry and upset all the time for being ignorant because we choose to ignore. That's the crime. Creative expression speaks to people's hearts. It's not like a speech or a flyer that speaks to people's intelligence, it speaks to people's emotions. Art is a universal language. It builds bridges between communities. It also helps to get our messages out there. It's our belief that art is the opposite of violence, that the power of art to move people, to change people's hearts and minds, is what's needed in our movements right now. Art has a way of breaking through to people's emotions and inspiring them to take action. Finally see what a cruel world really is when innocence is decimated and families are the In a world that's so divided, at Art in Action, we bring people together and form an incredible community over 10 days. It's a community that's based on love. It's a community based on respect, based on accepting each other through our differences and building bridges so that we can move forward together and build a future that includes everyone. Everyone is able to hold space for each other to just experiment and just have fun and just um, really get in and try new things, try new things that they never thought they'd ever do in a choreographed dance or 
painting a huge giant puppet or a huge banner or holding a microphone and standing up in front of an audience. It's something at Art in Action we really hold space for all of the participants to unfold as artists and really dive into that part of themselves and incorporate the political education um, and information linking the issues globally, locally. When you can express that in a creative way, something really powerful happens. Thank <laughs> you.